Okay, here is the first step towards uh, customising your PSP. This is the video that will actually show you how to make uh, the Pandora battery. Um, obviously, first thing you'll need is a PSP battery, like so. Second thing you'll need is a sharp uh, object, i.e. a razor blade is probably best for this, or anything which will be thin enough to uh, cut the line in between the battery there and there. Okay, once you've got your sharp object and you start cutting away at the battery, uh, what you should then have is something that hopefully looks a little bit like this, where you've cut down one side, both sides of the battery. Now, do this slowly. It's a very uh, slow process because you have to be very careful when you're opening the battery itself. Uh, once you have actually cut down far enough, what you should then be able to do, um, with maybe a little bit of force, is open the battery, like so. Inside, as you can see, you have the battery and circuit board. What I, what I did when I did this was I turned the battery around and very carefully pulled the circuit board up like so. Now, I'm not sure you're going to see this very clearly, unfortunately, but if you look here, there is a chip, this little black one here. Now, on either side of this chip are four pins. Now, on the right hand side, which is this side here, you will need to cut the bottom pin. And I'm not sure if you can see it very clearly, but I have removed it. Once you are able to do that, what you do is you simply close that carefully and place the battery back together. Now, if you've got some tape, stick it together because uh, it's easier to get a PSP once you've done it. Um, okay, that's basically pretty much it for a Pandora's battery. Um, I would do not take any responsibility if you do end up missing your PSP, but this is the same battery I used to customise my own, so hopefully if it works for me, it should work for you. Okay, uh, my next video that will be coming will show you how to make the Magic Memory Stick using a simple PSP memory card, which is the second thing you need uh, to start customising the PSP. And uh, that video should hopefully follow very soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Any questions or comments, let me know. Cheers.